but sometimes, yeah, every, I mean, uh, on, I mean, every Sunday and Saturday, I think you put your lesson in, I mean, early, right? Or in the yes. afternoon. Yes. So, how are you doing today? Yeah, I wasn't, <laughs> yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to, to have my, you know, um, I was supposed to ask the staff to uh, to cancel my lesson this day. I mean, at this time because I thought I won't be able to to uh, arrive in the office on time. So, so I messaged you. Yeah, if if, if it's possible for you to move your lesson, but then uh, fortunately um, I I able to arrive on time. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So good afternoon again, Mr. Chen. Okay. Oh, okay. So, that's nice to have you again in my class. Okay. So. Okay. Yeah. So, how did you? What did you do this morning? Did you go out? No. Uh, this morning I uh, spent time for sleep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> really? The whole the whole morning? Uh, no, not the whole morning, but uh, about uh, three hours. Three hours? Yeah. You, you slept three hours? You slept mm -hmm. for three hours? Uh, or three, or, you mean three hours ago? I wake up at uh, I wake up at uh, uh, six six o'clock. Uh, then uh, then I uh, have uh, I had uh, breakfast. Mm -hmm. I uh, I. Uh, sleep again uh, at uh, 7.30 uh, a.m. Mm, I see. Okay. Mm. Okay, again, Mr. Chen. Okay, it's 6. Okay? Yes, yeah, 6. Not, not 6. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Okay. Six. Hey, please practice pronouncing um, that word also, okay? It's okay. 6, not 6. Okay. <laughs> Sick means ill. Okay. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> okay. All right. So um, yeah. Let me open my Galant Five now. Yes. Yeah. I just I just arrived. I just arrived here in the office a minute ago. I mean, uh, it's five minutes ago, I think. Uh. Yeah. So I was like, oh my god, it's already time. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, because we have, you know, we have, uh, we'll, we will be penalized, yeah, if we arrive or if we uh, have our time late, yeah. Uh, yes. I mean, I mean, our class, yeah. So um, I was afraid, yeah, I was afraid that I, um, that uh, I may not arrive on time and I may not, we, we may not have our lesson. So aside from, you know, um, yeah, we will be penalized. Of course, it will be. Uh, um, I will be ashamed to you. Yeah, because <laughs> because you put your lesson, and then I'll, I'll I won't be able to be in in our class. So, okay, all right. So wait for a moment because my my computer initializes very you know very slow. So yes. yeah, please wait for a moment. Mm -hmm. So how about your your daughter and your wife? How are they? Uh, my wife uh, and uh, my daughter come back to uh, my parents' house. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> oh my god. So what page are we in now? Um, page... Uh, 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 page 65, right? Okay, yes. Yeah. Okay, so let me delete, let me delete my message for a while. Yeah, um, okay, and then this one. All right, page 65. Okay, 
Okay, so let's start. Did you open your book already? Yes. Mm -hmm. I already opened my book. All right. Okay, so we're now on... Uh oh, it is important to remember the uh, 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 which one? Okay, let's just have a review. Okay, let me let me read uh, number three eight three. Okay. Yes. Okay. So again, it is important to remember that in spite of and despite cannot be followed immediately by a subject and a verb. Okay. 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 For example, we cannot say in spite of she, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, so in spite of she was ill, she want to work. It's not correct, okay? So okay. in spite of followed by a subject, which is she, okay, is not correct. Okay? Yes. All right, so why do some people do dangerous sports in spite of, dan of the danger? Okay, let's do it again. Okay, why some, do... Mm -hmm. yes. Some people do dangerous sports in spy up the danger because they find them exciting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Name some foods that are very popular despite being bad for the health. Some foods that are very popular despite being bad for the health are uh, uh, hot dog or uh, hamburger mm -hmm. or pizza. Mm -hmm. oh, do you think so? Pizza is bad for the health? Are you sure? Yes, I, I think so. Yes. Why? Uh, uh, I think uh, I think uh, food of uh, uh, pizza is the uh, first uh, fast food. Is the fast food. Ah. Pizza. Okay. Yeah. But I think it's not that bad because um, I think you will, um, it doesn't, it's not a deep fried food. Yeah. So I think um, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. As long as, as long as it's not often, I think there will, they, uh, they, there is no problem. Yeah? yeah. Okay. Okay, so let's continue. Number, I mean, next question. Do you think it's worth learning a foreign language? Do you think it's worth learning a foreign language in spite of the fact that it's quite difficult? Yes, I think what learning for foreign language in spite of the fact that it's quite difficult. Okay, Mr. Chan, could you please try to read fast? Okay, as fast as you can. Okay, as fast as you can, but it should be clear. Okay, let me hear. Could you please try? Uh, okay. okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think what learning a foreign language in spite of the fact that is quite difficult. Okay, <laughs> you're still having a hard time reading uh, yeah, in a uh, fast level. Okay, but that's fine, okay? Yeah, yeah. so yeah, as long as uh, you read and you learn every day, I would be able to uh, level up your reading speed, okay? Okay. Okay, so in spite of studying a lot of words and grammar, do you still find English a little difficult? Is mm. it inspired? A lot of words and grammar, I still find English a little difficult. Okay, where is the T sound? Again, please don't uh. forget the final sound, Mr. Chen. Okay, this is English, okay? This is not Vietnamese, okay? Yes. So you, so if in Vietnamese you don't, you don't pronounce the final sound, yeah, in English you must, okay? Okay. So yeah. it's not difficult. It's not difficult. Okay. <laughs> it's <laughs> difficult. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Please pronounce the final sound. Please practice. Okay. Please okay. practice more. Yeah. When you're not when you're when you're doing nothing. Yeah. You can read. Yeah. Aloud. Read aloud. Not not just not with your eyes, but with your mouth. Okay. Read aloud. Okay. 
yes. for you to practice for you to practice your reading skills okay 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 next one could you please read the next words next page uh, anyone someone no one okay no one no one no one <laughs> do you know that song no one <laughs> okay so instead of the words anybody somebody and nobody we can use the words anyone someone and no one okay so you can say anyone or anybody you can say somebody or someone you can say nobody or no one okay okay Okay, so what words can we use instead of anybody, somebody, and nobody? Is that uh, anybody, somebody, and nobody, we can you use uh, and anyone, someone, and no one. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, at first I said you. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you but you're able to recognize your mistake. So great, great job, Mr. <laughs> Chen, okay? <laughs> okay? Okay, so it's used, okay? Great job for that, okay? Okay, mm -hmm. so did, did anyone come into the classroom at the beginning of the lesson? Did anyone mm -hmm. come into the office at the beginning? Okay, All, okay, let's say, let's just assume, okay, that, we're, that we are learning in a classroom, yeah, one-on-one, um, -on -one, and... Um, yeah, face to face. Okay. So did anyone come did anyone come into the classroom at the beginning of the lesson? Mm. Yes. <laughs> mm. Yes, some, yes someone yes, someone came into the classroom at the beginning of the lesson. Okay. <laughs> Went out of this room two minutes ago. <laughs> yes. Who went out of this room two minutes ago? Uh, you. You oh, went. Are, are, you, are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> two minutes ago? Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but if, but if it's negative, if your answer is negative, how would you say that? Yes. Um, no anyone came into the classroom at the beginning of the lesson. Uh, not anyone. Not no uh, anyone, okay? No it's one. No one, okay? Uh, yes. Okay, so please remember it's not it's not no anyone, it's no one. Okay? Uh, yes, no one. Okay. Okay, next words. Okay, any questions so far? No. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, next word. Borrow. Okay, it's ba borrow. Okay? Borrow. Mm -hmm. All right, so what's the opposite of the verb to lend? Uh, the opposite of the verb to lend is to borrow. All right, so should we always give back the things we borrow? Okay, okay, again, should we always give back the things we borrow? Uh, yes, we should always give, give back the things we borrow. Of course, because it because we just borrowed it, right? <laughs> yeah. So it's not my, it's not ours, okay? It's not yours, it's not mine, okay? <laughs> it's, <laughs> yeah. it's there, so you ha we have to give it back, okay? Yes, yes. Okay, so have you tried? Have you tried borrowing something, but you won't, you didn't able to give it back to the owner? Could you repeat? Okay, have you tried borrowing something from your friends, for example, but you mm. didn't able to give it back to them? Uh, I think money. Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. Why? Why didn't Why you didn't get, give it back to them? Uh, sometime, sometime. Uh, sometimes we borrow. Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. We uh, borrow little money. Mm -hmm. We uh, we don't uh, ask uh, 
uh, as a pupil mm-hmm. uh, uh, rivers mm-hmm. uh, come on yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if they vol- if they voluntarily give it to you and then of course it's yours already right but if we just borrowed it yeah we, we must give it back to them right yeah. or pay it back right <laughs> yeah. yeah maybe um, yeah you have yeah maybe you have your reason why you didn't able to give it back to them yes <laughs> Yeah. Okay, okay. So let's move on to the next question. So, if you forgot to bring a pen with you to school, would you have to borrow one from another student? Yeah. Okay. If you forgot to bring a pen with you to school, okay, would you have to borrow one from another student? Yeah. Yes. Yes, if I forgot to bring a pen with, uh, with, uh, with I to school, um, with me to school, I do have to borrow one from another student. Okay, <laughs> what have you tried it? I mean, you went to school, but you forgot your pen. Did you? Have you? I mean. Have you tried it? I mean, have yeah. you experienced it? Have, have you experienced? Have you experienced going to school without your pen? It's like you, you just forgot. You just forgot your pen. I uh, I don't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. Okay, yeah. so let's move on. Okay, please read the next words. Uh, my my own emphasize. Okay, my own emphasize. Emphasize. Yes. Emphasize. Uh huh. Okay. So we often put the word own after a possessive adjective when we want to emphasize that something belongs to someone. Okay. Okay. What's the, what mean emph- emphasize? Emphasize is like you have to, uh, you have to, for example, um, okay, for example, you have your pen, right? Yes, I can say, I can say uh, this, uh, this is Mr. Chen's pen, okay? So I am emphasizing that that pen is yours, okay? That, that, pen, is, that pen belongs to you. Uh, yes. Okay? So, okay. okay. So for you to, um, for you to be able to, uh, wait for a moment, for you to be able to understand, uh, very well. Okay. Let let me translate it. Okay. Okay. So wait for a moment. Okay, where is notice? Uh oh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh uh oh. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Emphasize means. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you have to give spo- uh, special importance or prominence to, to in speaking or writing. Okay, so yeah, there are no synonyms here. Okay, so you like you focus attention on. Okay, you stress like that or um, underline, highlight, something like that. Okay. 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 So the findings emphasize the value for me. Okay. Okay, so is it clear? Yes. Okay. Okay, so again, we often put the word own after a possessive adjective when we want to emphasize that something belongs to someone. For example, this is my own pen. Okay, it belongs to me. Okay. 
Okay, yeah. so notice that we can say that this is our classroom because we study here all the time. But we cannot say that this is our own, okay, that this is our own classroom because it doesn't belong to us. Okay? Mm. But okay. we cannot say that this is our own. Yes, yes, we can say this is our classroom because we study here all the time. Okay, but we cannot say that this is our own classroom. Okay, so we can say uh, this is our classroom, not our own classroom. Oh, uh, yes, like yeah, just can, can, can we uh, say uh, my own classroom? No, no. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, it's, uh, we just emphasize it that, uh, for example, I am emphasizing that um, the, yeah, as I have said earlier, okay, your, your, your pen, okay, your pen belongs to you. So this is Mr. Chen's pen, like that. Chen, and then apostrophe S. It's, that is the possessive case. Okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, so again, notice that we can say that this is our classroom. Because we study here all the time, okay? But we cannot say that this is our own classroom, okay? Okay. Yes, because it doesn't belong to us. Okay, we, you can say our our classroom, but our not our own classroom. Okay. Okay? Okay. okay yes. Is it clear? Okay, yes. All right. So give me an example of the word own, okay? After a possessive adjective. This is my old book. Okay. Okay, so what is the possessive adjective used in the sentence? Uh, after, after a possessive uh, book. This I mean, book. what is? what? Oh, book is a noun? Uh, yes. So what I was uh, asking was the possessive adjective, which is the possessive adjective used in the sentence. Uh, my. All right. Okay, that's correct. Okay. okay. Okay, so my, my is the possessive adjective. Okay. 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 So do you live in our own house or flat or does it belong to somebody else? Do you believe in your own house or flat or does it belong to somebody else? By the way, what is flat? Yes. Do you know flat. what flat is? Yes. Okay, flat Flat means what? Can hold, yes. I think. No, no, I don't, no, I don't live in my own flat. Uh-huh. Okay, so flat is the British English. What about American English? Uh, flat, uh, I think, uh, uh, American English. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, so again, could you please repeat? No, I don't live in my old flat. Uh huh. It belongs to. Uh, it belongs to my wife. Ah, uh, really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> ah, okay. But since you are already couple, okay. Of course, it's it's your yeah, it's your house already. Yes, because it, she is your wife, right? Yes. Am I right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So next question: Do you think this is probably my own book, or do you think it belongs to the school? Do you think oh. this is probably my own book? Probably it's like, uh, maybe like that. Probably. Pro what mean per probably, probably. Probably. Mm -hmm. What's, what mean probably? Probably means maybe like that. Perhaps mm. like yeah. that. Okay. Yes. Okay, so do you think this is probably my own book or do you think it's, it belongs to the school? Uh, 
Mm-hmm. Um, I think I think I think that's pro- probably uh, your own book. <laughs> okay, probably. Okay, pro Bob Lee, probably. Probably. Mm-hmm. Okay, so if you think it's probably my own book, okay, if, if your answer is positive, you can say, I think that's probably your own book. What about if it's, if your answer is negative? Uh, I don't think that's your own book. Mm-hmm. It's thing, it think, I think it belonged to uh, the school. Okay. <laughs> okay. So did you understand the statement? Yes, I understand okay. it. All right. Okay, so let's proceed to the next page. Okay. Next word you have? Skin. Okay. So for example, I'm pointing I'm pointing to your skin. So what's this? I mean not, not pointing, maybe I can just touch it, yeah? Yeah, <laughs> so what's this? It's the skin. <laughs> okay, okay, it's your skin. Oh my, you know, some sometimes uh, some questions in common method are so funny, right? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> they create they created some funny questions, right? And yeah, weird questions. Okay, but yeah, it's okay. Yeah, you should, let's just learn it. Okay, <laughs> let's just study. Okay, so next one. Could you please read the next words? Why? Mm-hmm. Electricity. Mm-hmm. Connection. Mm-hmm. Wireless. Mm-hmm. Wi-Fi. Defend. Okay, you, you read after me, okay? Okay. Okay, wire. Wire. Electricity. Electricity. Okay, again, electricity. Electricity. Okay, very good. Connection. Connection. Wireless. Wireless. Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Hyphen. Hyphen. Okay, this is hyphen, okay? So hyphen means like this. This one, okay? This is a hyphen. Uh, Yes, okay. 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 Okay, so what, what means electricity? Electricity. Electricity, Mr. Chan? This is a very common word. Why? Uh, yes. Yeah, Why? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I know uh, electric, but uh, electricity, uh, I, <laughs> I don't uh, Heaven here, here is. Ah, oh, really? Yes. Okay. Electric, electricity came from the word ele- electric, of course. Yes. <laughs> okay. So it's like um, it's okay. It's like we have to form the electric. Uh, we have to form the word electricity from the word electric. Okay. So, okay. uh, electricity is a form of energy resulting from the existence of charged particles, okay, such as ele- electrons or protons. Either you study, uh, study, is the ah, <laughs> statically, okay, statically as an accumulation, okay, of charge or dynamically as a current, okay. Mm. Oh, <laughs> it can be a state or feeling of thrilling excitement. Okay, <laughs> so for example, the electricity between Maddie and Jane's husband, Mike has, okay, has art repeatedly over the years. Okay, just like if you if you love someone, yeah, of course you can feel the thrill, thrill of excitement. Okay, yeah. so you can feel the ele- electricity uh, flowing to your blood, something like that. <laughs> Uh-huh. Okay, but if you don't have uh, feelings to anyone, to I mean, towards your partner, for example, or towards someone, yeah, there is no electricity. It means there's no feelings at all. Yes. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. What about the word Wi-Fi? I mean, 
the abbreviation. Abbrevi the abbreviation Wi-Fi stands for? Uh, yes. I, uh, I uh, use Wi-Fi. Yes. Do, do you know Wi-Fi stands for? Yes, I, uh, I know Wi-Fi. Yes. I mean, what is Y and what, what is Phi? Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Okay, so Y stands for wireless. Okay. Wireless. Yes, this one. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, and Phi stands for fidelity. 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 Mm. Uh-oh. Why is it? Okay. Oh, uh, how do I, how do I exit this one? How do I close this? Anyway, it's okay. Uh huh. So fidelity. Fidelity. Oh. fidelity. Uh, I'm sorry. L I. Okay. Fidelity. Okay, so Y stands for wireless and Phi stands for fidelity. Okay? Okay. Okay. So, question. What do we use wire for? What do we use wire for? Uh, we use wire, wire to carry electricity to connect things together, etc. Cetera, et cetera, blah, blah, blah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. So if there is et cetera, okay. You, uh, you imitate me, okay? You say et cetera, et cetera, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So again, what do we use wire for? Uh, we, we use wires to carry electricity to connect things. To leather, etc. Blah blah. <laughs> <laughs> Why you like? But I, I said it, etc. etc. Blah blah blah. <laughs> you just said etc. Blah blah. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to follow instruction. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay. Yeah, just yeah. just etc. Okay. Okay. Okay, so etc. means in others, okay? Yes. Okay, so next next question. What do we mean by a wireless internet connection? Uh, what do we mean by a wireless internet connection? By wireless internet connection, we mean that we can connect to the internet without connecting wires to our computer. Okay. So, again, you should say can, not can't. Okay. So, can. This, is, this is positive modal verb. Okay. So, we should say can, not can't. Can. Okay. okay very good. Okay. And connection. Sh, sh, connection. Connections. Sh, 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 sh. Sh, sh, a connection. Sh, sh, sh. Connection. Okay. Okay. Internet connection. Okay, so by a wireless internet connection, we mean that we can, we can connect to the internet without connecting wires to our computer. Okay, of course, it's wireless. It's called, it's called wireless, right? Mm -hmm. So what do you use, by the way? Are you using cable or with wire or wireless connection? Wire. Wire. Are you using your phone? Yes. Ah, but you have your, your laptop as well, right? Could you please? Do you have your laptop also? Uh, yes, I have a laptop. So what do you use? What what internet connection are you using for your laptop? Is it wireless or with cable or wire? Uh, 
Wi-Fi. Yeah. Wi-Fi for laptop. I use Wi-Fi for laptop. Okay. Okay then. So next question. We, uh, I mean, what can we say instead of a wireless internet connection? What can we say instead of a wireless internet connection? In, instead of, uh, we can say, uh, uh, instead of, uh, instead, instead, instead of a wireless internet connection, we can say Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. Okay. Instead of a wireless internet connection, we can say Wi-Fi for short, okay? Yes. Okay, or Wi-Fi. Actually, Wi-Fi stands for Wi-Fi Fidelity, right? I mean, wireless fidelity. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay, so it just means wireless internet connection. Okay, so do some bars and cafes offer free Wi-Fi to their customers? What can... Um, do some bars and cafes and cafes offer free Wi-Fi to their customers? Yes, some bars and cafes offer free Wi-Fi to their customers. Okay, customers, customers. Customer. Mers. Cost customers, customers. Co okay, customers, okay? Okay. Okay, so have you tried connecting to the Wi-Fi to, I mean, Wi-Fi of some bars or cafes in your place? Yes, cafe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or coffee shop? Yes, coffee shop. Yes, or in a bus also. Yeah? Yes. So bus offer, I mean, they also allowed their passengers to connect to their Wi-Fi. Yes. Right? Yes. yes. Okay. Okay, so spell the word Wi-Fi, please. <laughs> Y-I hyphen. Yep, I. Okay. <laughs> okay, so th this is what I'm saying a while ago, okay? This is hyphen, okay? Yeah, hyphen. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, next one. Please read the next words. Boil. Fry. Rust. Okay, it's roast. Oh, roast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So tell me three ways of cooking potatoes. What's the, what what mean uh, uh, boil? Boil. For, uh, for example, if you if you're gonna boil egg or boil water, if you uh, want to if you want to uh, if you want to for example, uh, you have your water dispenser. Yeah, you can boil water from your water dispenser. Yeah, hot water. If you uh, want, to, if you want hot water, you have to boil water. Yes, uh, to yes, make, to make yes. it hot, right? Or yes. boil egg. Okay, so you can, you can, you can boil a lot of. I mean, you can boil different foods, right? Yes. So you can boil eggs. You can boil water. Yeah. Oh, you, 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 can, yes. <laughs> you can also boil yourself. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> what will happen if you're gonna boil yourself? <laughs> oh my god! Just I'm just kidding. Okay. Okay. What about fry? Fry. Mm -hmm. Fry. Do you know fry or not? No. I no. Don't know. Let's say fried fish. I'm you, girl. Do you, you don't you don't cook? Do you cook? Uh, sometimes, sometimes I cook. Uh, okay, okay. Maybe you're you're not. I mean, your daily conversation at home is in Vietnamese, of course. So, maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe it's because of that. Okay. So fry is like fried fish. Yes. So fry frying some some foods with a cooking oil. Okay, makes it makes. Some uh, makes food fried, right? So, uh, yeah. fry uh, chi chicken, fried chicken, fry. Fry, French fries, like that, right? Yeah. Okay, fry. Yes. Chin, 
Okay. What about roast? Roast, like for example, roast beef. Okay, this is terms for cooking, right? For cooking. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so roast is cooked food or meat or special, I mean, especially meat by prolonged exp exposure to heat in an oven or over a fire. Okay, roast. Yes. Okay. So let's say, for example, let's say, uh, let's, let's say, roast, roast chicken. Okay, this is a roast chicken. Okay. Yes, I think it's a fried chicken. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, fried chicken. This is also a chicken, but different, you know, uh, different cooking style or different, you know. So let's say, okay, this is fried chicken. Yeah, this is fried. Uh, you can, yeah. Yes, of course, if, you, if you're going to roast some chicken or some meat, of course, it's different. Look at the, look at the appearance, okay? Look at this. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So you're going to yeah, you can you can uh roast a chicken in an oven. Yeah, or through a fire. Right? So uh I can't see any um Okay, let's say for example, rose outside. Yes. Roast roast chicken outside. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe let's say uh, rose oh, fork. Four. Pork. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is rose. Look at look at the look at the texture. Yeah. Okay. It's it's different from fried. Yeah? Yes, yes. Get that. Mm. Yeah, it's like grilling also. Real. Um, grilled chicken. Yes. Oh, this is also like. Mm. You can also grill. You can also say grilled or roast. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Like this. Yeah, you say using this uh, grill, using the grill, right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, so let's continue. Okay, so please remember these cooking terms. Okay. Yeah. Boil, fry, roast. You know, and 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 a lot more. There are many cooking terms. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so tell me three ways of cooking potatoes. Three ways of cooking potatoes. Uh, boil, boiling, frying, and roasting. Okay. Do you prefer fried eggs or boiled eggs? I prefer boiled eggs. Mm-hmm. Why? Mm. <laughs> do, do, you eat, do, you eat, do you eat eggs? Do you like eggs? Mm, no more. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. Okay then. So you preferred boiled eggs. Um, in my case, um, it doesn't matter if it's boiled or or sunny side up or fried eggs. Yeah. So do you know sunny side up eggs? Mm, no. Sunny side up like this. It's like a sun. Yeah. Yeah. This one. Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> do you know? Do you know this one? Uh, yes, I I know this, but uh, uh, I uh, don't eat. Ah, really? Yes. Isn't it popular in your place? Uh, my my family don't uh, don't eat. Really? 
Yes. Oh, why? <laughs> All yeah. right then. Okay, yeah. so this is sunny side up egg. Yeah, we can have, uh, we can cook uh, boiled um, through uh, boiling or frying. Okay, and this kind of cooking as well. Sunny side up style. Okay. Yeah, yes. Yeah. yeah, they call it sunny side up because it likes, it looks like sun, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, next one. How long does it take to boil potatoes? How long does it take to boil potatoes? Uh, it takes about 10 minutes to boil potatoes. All right. So it's, um, it's half. Actually, 20, 20 minutes, I think it's, um, it's already, uh, it's a hard, it's a hard boiled cook. Yeah, because we can say hard boiled or half half cooked or uh, half boiled rather yeah. okay i prefer half half boiled yes yeah i don't yeah. like hard I, I don't like hard boiled eggs <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't know it, it, it it's it's tasteless for me yeah even even it has some you know even it has some condiments like salt for example or pepper yeah it's i think Mm, it's not tasty for me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, so we still have three minutes left, so let's move on. Okay, next words, Mr. Chen. Brick. Okay, do you know what brick is? Yes, I know this. All right, so what's a wall normally built of? A wall is normally built a brick. All right. Yes. A wall is normally built of bricks. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So next, next page. Please read. As well, to also. Okay. So as you can, um, um, as you can observe. Okay, I usually use this word, right? Words rather. I I often use these words, right? Uh, yeah. Can't can't you hear? <laughs> Don't you know? No. Uh, really? When I'm when I'm speaking, I'm, I'm I I used to say. I mean, uh, I often use these words. For oh, this, this as well. uh, yeah. So, thank you as well, like that. Yeah. Or. Yeah, because as well means to or also. Okay, uh, yes. so they can be, yeah, so the words as well, to and also, all mean the same thing. Okay, yes. so the words as well and to go at the end of the sentence, but the word also usually goes after the auxiliary verb or the first auxiliary verb. Okay, okay? Yeah. yes. Okay, but they, but they, uh, they are similar words, okay, so you can, you can use them interchangeably, okay. Okay, so for example, uh, when when your wife when your wife say I love you, yeah, you can say I love you too, or I love you also, or I love you as well, something like that. Yes. Okay. 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 So where do the words as well too and also usually go? Mm. The words as well and to go as the end of the sentences. But the word also usually goes after the first auxiliary verb. Okay, again, aug. This, this should be pronounced as auxiliary. Okay, auxiliary. Auxiliary. Z, ug, z, z. Okay, it's like zebra. Auxiliary. Okay. Auxiliary. 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 All right. Okay. Okay. So give me an example, please. Okay, last one. I will. I will be sleep as. 3 a.m. Sleeping, sleeping. Uh, sleeping at 3 a.m. My sister will be sleeping as well. Mm -hmm. My mother will be sleeping too. My brother will also be sleeping. 
Okay. okay. Okay, so again, I will be sleeping at 3 a.m. I will be sleeping at 3 a.m., okay? So you, you will be sleeping at 3 a.m., okay? Mm -hmm. And your sister will be sleeping as well, okay? Yes. And my mother will be sleeping too, okay? And here, notice, okay, my brother will also be sleeping. So as you can see, the first auxiliary verb used in this sentence is will, okay? So it should mm -hmm. be followed by also okay yes. so you can say my brother will also be sleeping okay yeah. not okay I it was i was uh, mistaken a while ago i didn't notice okay so you should say um my brother will be will also be sleeping not my brother will be sleeping also okay yes, yes. okay so this should be at the middle not at the end of the word the sentence rather okay so any question no, no question. <laughs> okay, very good. Did you learn something today? Uh, no? <laughs> not, no. <laughs> I mean, did you learn something today from today's lesson? Uh, no. You didn't you learn? You didn't learn anything? You didn't learn something? Ah, uh, yes. I, <laughs> I think, uh, uh, I think I, uh, uh, we asked, uh, I learned uh, after uh, the lesson. Uh -huh. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what I was asking was if you learned something today. Uh, yes. Yes, page 68, right? Okay. Am I right? Yes, page 68. Okay. And uh, with the present simple. With the... Present simple. Present. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. The R E. Okay. So that's all for today, Mr. Chan. Thank you so much again for having my class today. <laughs> okay. Have a good night. Okay. Oh, it's <laughs> afternoon. It's it's, it's uh, two p.m. here. Two fifty-three. Uh, yeah. yes. But in Japan, it's 3.53. But since we are using Japan local time, yeah, it's 3.53, okay? Okay. Okay, okay so thank you so much again, Mr. Chen. Okay, see you again mm -hmm. on our next class, okay? Have a great day ahead and happy weekend, okay? Enjoy, <laughs> yeah. enjoy, enjoy the rest of your day, okay? Bye. Bye, bye. See you again. Mm-hmm.